The last thing that you're going to add to this page is going to be a spry accordion panel. And I zoomed in, so I need to scroll over here. Right here where it says accordion here, that's where it is going to go. Um, now, um, at first glance, the spry accordion panel resembles a standard vertical menu bar. As the name suggests, however, each item contracts and expands to reveal a content panel where you can add text and images. The accordion panel allows you to have only one panel open at a time. Accordion panels are great for navigation, for tree style navigation or lists, or organizing related content, such as a frequently asked questions list, into a clean panel style format. As with the other Spry widgets, the accordion panel uses its own style sheet, which you can easily modify to make it match your current theme. All right, so with that text selected, we're going to delete it and keep our cursor there. And on the Spry tab on the insert bar, we are going to choose Spry Accordion right here. Click, and it automatically inserts the bar. Now, if you look down at the Property Inspector, you'll see um, that since the Spry Accordion is selected, your properties reflect that. And right now, there are only two properties that are in here or sorry, not two properties, but two items that are in here. So we are going to need to click on this plus sign to add two more right there. All right, so on the page, we're going to highlight the text in the top label of the accordion. Let me scroll up a little bit. And notice again how you get the eyeball, OK? That means that that tab is the one that's in front. Um, I'm also going to click on that what's new to get that one out of our way. You notice how I just moved it out of our way. So here is label number one, and I'm going to type in food products. Okay. Now, um, you might say, well, where am I going to get that from? Well, let's come down here to the files panel, and in there you're going to see that there is a folder called text. And I have an HTML file in here that we can copy and paste. So if we look here, we're going to highlight these five items under food products, dried fruits through cereals. And I'm going to copy. And I'm going to go back here. And I'm going to highlight content one. And I'm going to paste. Then I'm going to go down to the next one. I'm going to click on the eyeball. That way I know that it's selected. And I'm going to have to click on this eyeball again to get that out of my way. Um, and this second one is going to be clothing. And I'll go to this other page. And I'm going to highlight the clothing. And paste it. Then I'm going to scroll down. And I'm going to find the next one. Click on the eyeball. And this one is going to be home products. And go to the next page and highlight those home products. Copy, paste. And then the final tab is going to be lifestyle. And I'll go to this other page, and I will copy it. I'll go ahead and close that page, and I will paste. Whoops, Let me try that again. And paste. There we go. All right, so now all of my content is in there. So I'm going to Command-S to save, and again, it asks about these dependent files, CSS, and a JavaScript file. I'm clicking OK. I'm going to collapse my files panel again because I'm going to need to come up here into my CSS styles and I'm going to need to expand the spry accordion.css. And in here, just like the others, you will see lots of different um, uh, items that have properties associated with it. And we're going to need to find first the one that says 
accordion panel tab and that's the third one down you'll notice that there is a background color here we want to make this background color 8 C D 0 3 1 okay and that's going to make that one of the same greens that we have used throughout then I'm going to find the accordion panel open accordion panel tab accordion panel open accordion panel tab right there this one is going to have the light green background color C whoops I didn't get all of it selected initially CF9 okay so that means the one that is selected is going to be a lighter green next I'm going to select the accordion panel content which is just above that on here I want to find the property for the height and change it from 200 to 100 pixels so that when it's open it's a little bit smaller than it originally was and I think we have two more hold on okay so now we have to find accordion focused accordion panel tab right here and it's got a blue color to it this rule defines the appearance of uh, sorry defines the appearance of the panel tabs when the panel is focused um, the uh, let's see the color that we want for the background color is going to be 8cd 8cd 031 okay and now we need to find accordion focused accordion panel open let's see accordion focused accordion panel open accordion panel tab that's the last one on this list this rule defines the appearance of any panel tab that is open and we need to change this to CF9 okay and let's see is it was that the right one accordion panel tab accordion focused accordion panel open I think that is the correct one all right so now what I can do is I can click and use my arrows to make sure if I go through here make sure that all of my colors are matching make sure that there's none of those default blue colors and it looks like I'm good so I'm gonna save and remember that when I save it's also going to prompt me to save the others I'm gonna click yes and here as I click on it we can see the changes taking place so now you have three more options using Dreamweaver tools to um, be able to organize content on your website.